Okay, we are now recording. So um, we'll get going here, it's 12 o'clock. Sorry about that. A little bit about me, uh, my name is Jason Steele. You can see it here, you can see it up there. Uh, real, realtor here in Port Elgin, Ontario, work for uh, Royal LePage Exchange. Been a realtor since 2006, started taking my courses 2005. Immediately started video marketing uh, as part of my, my real estate um, dossier, I guess you could call it, um, for my clients, for my community, the whole bit. Um, took me about a year to actually get on screen though. I was always the person behind the video, not in front of the video. Um, yeah, Judy asked if we're recording. Yes, we are, Judy. Um, I just have to let somebody in the room here. And I've been doing video ever since. Um, from old technology, uh, everyone probably remembers the LG flip phones, uh, the little um, camcorders, digital camcorders, um, and even the, the big um, VCR um, tape. Uh, video recorders and we're just letting some more folks in uh, for all those that are just joining we haven't started I'm just uh, introducing myself here um, if anyone has any questions best to text me I'll put my phone number in the message box only because I won't be able to multitask um, very often here um, as I want to get into this and I don't want to be looking at the chat screen. Uh, ultimately, if you do have a question, feel free to unmute yourself and ask while we are uh, going through this as well. I will be sharing my screen uh, to show how this is done. This is my first time doing this actual course. So if I'm a little scatterbrained, uh, well, that's just me. So does anybody have any questions before we dive into this? You can put your hands up, you can put it in the chat screen. Can we have a copy of this recording after? Absolutely, Anna, we can. So once again, good morning, everybody. I'm Jason Steele. Thank you for attending. We got about 16 people in the group here. More will come in because as you know, we are always a late bunch, us realtors. So. Uh, let's get going here. Um, I'm going to have a, an affiliate link to uh, get you a 30-day trial of QuickPage here towards the end of things. Um, I just have to find it on my phone. It's somewhere in there. If you notice me looking, I have a cheat sheet um, so that I can run through this and keep it simple for everyone. Um, to start with, products that I use, the things that I use that are relatively cheap, and I forgot to bring my drone in here, but um, this is my number one tool. This is a GoPro. Um, they can get pricey, but there are products out there that are very similar. This is just the name that you're buying. DJI, um, just as it sounds, DJI has their own version of this, which is actually a little more robust. You're just not paying for that name, GoPro, right? So with the DJI one, you notice on a GoPro, they do have a screen on the back so I can walk around and shoot. The only problem is when I'm doing selfie mode, I can't see if I'm, you know, two thirds in the frame like you should be um, or whether I'm centered in the frame. So with the DJI version, there's actually a big screen on the front. Um, so that you can do selfie mode. Uh, the good part about it as well, uh, it's waterproof, has all the same features, if not more features than the, uh, the GoPro does. So that is, uh, hey Dana, um, that is the GoPro. So that's my number one video usage. Now, people are probably wondering, why don't you use your phone? Well, if you're like me, uh, you often forget to put your phone in silent mode. And while you're doing video, if a call comes through, uh, the phone automatically goes to the phone call. So your video is now ruined. Um, so that's why I use the GoPro the most. Other, all, all other good things about it is that it offers image stabilization. 
So leading into that, if you don't have a GoPro and you're using one of these, your cell phone, whether it's Android or iPhone, I suggest you get a stabilizer. So this is, again, this is a DJI uh, stabilizer, um, otherwise known as a gimbal. It is very easy to use. Um, I'm gonna show you here. So you just take your cell phone, set it in the cradle, tighten the cradle, and away you go. Now you can balance it, it opens and it closes uh, to balance. And then you would turn it on, it syncs up with Bluetooth, and that's it. So you can walk around, shake around, and the image is absolutely amazing. There's all kinds of features with it. It's got, um, you can get a tripod for the base here. Uh, so you can set it up on a table. There's a follow me feature. So you can walk away from it. I'm gonna go over price here in a minute, Albert. Uh, you can walk away from it and it'll follow you. So the whole thing will turn as you're turning. So if you're doing shots in kitchens, you know, throughout the house, set this down on the table and you can actually walk around and this will follow you. The only thing is, is the uh, voiceover. So the further you get away, obviously the worse the sound is going to be. And we're going to get into that one too, because we're going to show you how to easily do voiceover. A lot of these video guys out there make it look like it's tough, right? And that's for the most part, so you'll hire them to do it for you. Um, part of the fun that I find in real estate is doing this, doing the, the marketing part, going out and doing the videos and, and interacting with people. And uh, you can hire actors and do community pages and, and all sorts of things. So it is a lot of fun. Um, so that's the, oh, and a lightning connector. So if you're using uh, a Note, um, any type of Android device, most of them have uh, the SD cards, uh, the micro SD cards, these, these little guys right here, so micro SD card, um, where you can put it in and take it out. Well, in all their wisdom, Apple does not do that. They figure that you should store your stuff in their cloud, um, and that sort of thing. So I'm just gonna add more people here as they're coming in. So this is for your iPhone. This is a lightning connector and it's for your SD card. So the reason I use this, like I showed you, is I use a GoPro and sometimes I'll use big DSLR camera, but I want that information into my phone really quickly. Now the quickest way, uh, you can do it through the app with GoPro or any of those third party apps, but it takes a while. Um, takes a while to do that. Quickest way to do that, I'm gonna just share my screen here um, so I can show you. Um, hopefully everybody can see my phone. So what I do is I plug this in Oops, I'm trying to click on my screen. So I've just clicked on photos to open up photos. It's gonna take a second, there we go. And I will plug in that lightning adapter. You'll notice down at the bottom here in a second, hopefully it works. I don't know, maybe it won't do it while I'm on share. Hang on a second, sorry. Of course I grabbed the wrong cartridge there, which isn't working. So again, looking at the bottom of my cell phone screen, as soon as I plug this in, now this should open up. <laughs> First blooper of the day, lovely. I'm not sure why it's not working. Anyway, um, I probably grabbed the wrong uh, SD card that was corrupt yesterday. Um, somebody wants to come in, hold on, bear with me. Perfect, okay. So anyway, what would happen here is this would show up as an import button and I would turn around and uh, import it. Maybe because I had it on the wrong screen. Let's try that again. 
no, it's not going to work. So it'll, anyway, it'll put the pictures into my phone, the videos into my phone, and it's simple, it's quick, and that is awesome for when you're on the road. Um, everyone can see that in the small screen, uh, hoping. So that's one way to get all your media off of your cameras, your GoPros, your drone, and into your phone. And the reason why you want them into your phone is so that you can edit a video. So I use a couple video editing programs on my phone. For iPhone, this is a little bit behind, so I'm going to go slow. There's iMovie. iMovie is good. The only problem is sometimes their dot move, which is what they use versus MP4, um, doesn't work with all across all platforms. You always want it to be MP4 um, for that purpose. I mean, you can use iMovie. I use iMovie once in a while, um, but sometimes what I'll do is I'll make my iMovie and then I'll move it over to the program that I like to use the best um, because I can add more things to it. And when I make it, it ends up being an MP4. So you can see all these different ones. Uh, I have clips. Uh, that's my uh, drone uh, app for my drone. Movie Pro is very good for capturing. Um, it gives you more than just your built-in features in your phone's camera. So uh, there's, there's color, there's um, all the functions of, say, a DLSR, D, a DL, you know what I mean, um, SLR, digital SLR. Um, Text on video, you can add text to your video. Pixelmatic, same thing, you can add picture on picture. Uh, Videolicious is for editing software. Um, one of my favorites is WeVideo. The reason I use WeVideo, which is right here, is it's available on all platforms. So if you switch from iPhone to Android, you can bring the program with you. Not all your videos will be saved, but the actual program in your account can be used. Where if you're using iMovie, do all your videos in iMovie, and then you switch to Android for whatever reason, uh, if you're like me, you just get ADD with phones, you get bored of them, and you go to the next best thing. Um, so we video can follow. And it's very easy to use. So I've just clicked on it, it opens up, and you can click create. Uh, you can put in any title. And you don't even have to have a title. See, I can take that and I can delete that title. And here's Mr. Video himself. So this is Michael Creasa joining in the call. Um, you can unmute yourself anytime, Michael, if you'd like, uh, or just sit back, relax, enjoy your coffee. Um, so with this, you can add from your camera, device media. Oh, hang on. I think we got more people coming in. Sorry. Well, oh, maybe not. Okay. So device media, which is everything on your phone. So bursts, slow motion, videos, animated, panoramas, selfies, my um, like GoPro. So basically anything that's set up, which is very similar to what's on your camera. So you can do video, you can do photos. Now my media is something that is used when you have your online account. So this is we video here in the background. and you can have an online account. What I do is I upload things that I use all the time in my videos and put them, store them under my media. That way I'm not having to fish through. I've got probably 18,000 photos on my camera. And for example, this clip right here uh, could, could be 17,200. So I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling to find it. This way I don't have to do that. It keeps things simple, and that was that, that's the whole purpose of this Zoom today is to show you how simple it is. So 
I'm going to go for some device media, some recents that I've recently uploaded. I'm going to select them and I'm going to put them in. So you can see they're all in here. Now, I'm going to play it because you're going to hear, hopefully you're going to hear, I hope because I'm not screen sharing it, it's not going to play. There. So this is video without the stabilizer. Thumbs up, everyone can hear. And as you can see, it gets pretty shaky. So you can hear the background noise. You hear all that noise, not good for a video, right? It, the, the keys rattling. I'm embellishing it a little bit. Uh, this video was made for this demonstration. Um, so I'll stop it. And what I do, it's gonna take a second to stop here. It's catching up. You can see I've already stopped it. There we go. Wait for it to catch up to me. So I go into each frame. So by each frame, that's each one of these is a different frame. And I'll turn the volume off. Each one of them, I will turn the volume off. The whole reason is it makes it a much cleaner video. So then you'll notice this button here. This is for doing a recording to voiceover. And voiceover is the best part because you can be at home, you can have a nice microphone attached to it, you can have no outside noise if you want to put sound effects in later, birds chirping, that sort of thing. So simple. It is so simple. Don't let the gurus tell you that it's not simple because it is. So it gives you a countdown. And then it'll follow you along. So welcome to any title. This property is amazing. Please walk through with me. As you can see, the backyard is absolutely stunning. Look at this interlocking brick patio, yada, yada, yada. And that's a voiceover. Now you can do the whole video or you can just do parts of the video. So I'll click done after that voiceover. And here's the difference. Whoops, of course, now it's going to crash. <laughs> Might have too many things open here. Let's see. And I'm going to uh, come back in here in a few minutes to look at some some questions it'll follow you along so welcome to any title this property is amazing please walk through with me as you can see the backyard is absolutely stunning look at this interlocking brick patio yada 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 don't yada in your video but <laughs> um you could tell the difference there right like it's just so much cleaner so much crisper and as you're walking through and you're trying not to trip, you're, you're watching for obstacles, you will not be happy with the end result because you're going to miss something, whether it be the type of faucet or a GFI or, or anything like that. Trust me, you will miss it. So as you're walking through and you're watching the video to do your voiceover, you're actually looking at what you're filming so you can do your video, your voiceover more accurately. Um, let's see where we are here. Um, screen share iPhone show apps. Now we're putting the video together. So now we have the video together. We're going to save the video. So I've clicked up in the corner here and I want to save it to photos. Uh, there's two reasons why you want to do that. If you share it through we video, they're going to watermark the heck out of it because of course they want to advertise. Um, if you save it to photos, you can put it up into the cloud um 
into the folder and I'll show you what folder I mean as this is saving. So in about 30 seconds, you've done, well, depending on how long your video is. So if you have a 12 minute video, it'll take you about 14 minutes to do this. And the reason I say 14 minutes is because you have all the other steps involved with removing the volume, adding your voiceover, and all going. So now that is ready. It'll follow you along. That's so well. Really connected. So um, I want to share this and I'm going to put it into Dropbox, which it's, there it is. So copy to Dropbox. Oops. I have a very big Dropbox, my apologies. Now I'm gonna throw it into the folder that I'm gonna show you today. And there is a method for this madness, trust me. So that's uploading into my Dropbox. So now I'm going to get rid of my screen share with my, my phone. <clears throat> and I'm going to let a couple more people back in. Now I'm just going to check the chat box here. Um, how much? Okay. So GoPro, 700 to 1,000 bucks for the new version. Uh, the DJI version of this is about $320 US. Um, $19 on Amazon. And the gimbal, it varies. Uh, Smooth is about $149, $159. Right now on the DJI website, these are 20% off for the new version. You'll notice. Mine grabbed my phone and put it in a cradle right here. Uh, the problem with that cradle is if you see on the, on the bottom of your phone is where you're plugging in your uh, microphones. If you're not using a wireless microphone, uh, then that can be an issue because that sits in the saddle and now you can't plug anything in. The new uh, Osmo Mobile 3 captures it this way. So your cradle is up top. Um, so it doesn't get in the way of anything. Um, and that's a new one. And they are, like I said, they're about 20% off right now on DJI uh, on their website, DJI.com. And that is the best if you're only going to be using your cell phone because, of course, when you're trying to hold this up, your arm's going to start getting tired. The gimbals are absolutely amazing. So now, I guess I should have left my phone on because I want to show you how I make my uh, virtual tours and my tours I can show you on here actually. Um, going back to screen share and I'm going to open what I use to do all of this. I gotta move this thing. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's a pain. Um, oh, I thought I had it open. So quick page, quick page is an awesome program. Um, I have not really an affiliation with them. What I have is um, an affiliate code. So anytime somebody uh, signs up through me, um, I get, I think it's an extra month or something like that. I'm not even sure what it is, um, but the code that I can give you will give you a 30 day. I think Michael's in here and likely has, um, a code that gives you 30 day for a buck as well. Um, so these are the quick page. So I've been asked, I've been questioned about quick page and how does it make it a live stream if it's just a page with video on it. The best thing is, is that I can upload the link to quick page to the live stream part of realtor.ca, which is right here. So you'll notice when you have a live stream open house, 
you can enter it in, I'm not sure how many people are on Matrix, but you can enter it under your open houses through Matrix, and there's a bunch of different ones. I, they should have taken member and public right out, not giving us the option for a public open house. But you also have a member open house and you have public open house. Member would be good. I don't know how many people run caravans. Um, and I'm surprised boards haven't put this together yet for all new listings is doing a member open house live stream um, so that everybody can showcase their uh, new listings. Um, but you set it to public. Of course, you put in your link. This is my quick page link. Set my time that I'm going to be available and hit save. So now you have a live open house on realtor.ca. Now, how is this live? Well, actually I should have got uh, Michael to go to this page and actually do it because I don't know if it'll work with me, um, but let's see. So this button right here, um, I'll let you have a listen here. Hey folks, thanks so much for joining me here at 530 Elgin Street, beautiful Port Elgin. This virtual tour of this property is very easy to navigate. These little blue arrows down here, if you just click on those, those will scroll you through each page uh, within this page. So there's video information, there's PDF uh, feature sheets, there's information about lawyers, home inspectors, and mortgage brokers in the area. Also, uh, with this page, Right up here, you'll see the share button. If you're at home in isolation and you want to share it with a family member, feel free to do so. Down below, there's that icon that will connect you with the listing agent in virtual uh, right. live time so that they can answer your questions as you're going through. And if you find it's a home that you really like, please get a hold of your agent and have them connect with the listing agent to book your showing. If you have any other questions, feel free. Thanks so much, and I hope you're enjoying your day. So you'll notice a couple of things there. Other than I have my brand on my shirt, I didn't say who I was, what brokerage I worked with, um, or that you can call me. I always tell people, if you're working with an agent, please have them call or call your own agent uh, for more information. Um, you do have the option to totally brand a quick page. So when I mean totally brand, so here would be your logo, here would be your website, um, here would be your name, you can put your Facebook pages and everything. I've made these totally unbranded for now. And the reason I've done that is I want you to send this to your buyer. I want you to feel confident enough that I'm not trying to jack your buyer by not branding my stuff, right? And I learned this a long time ago. If there's anything I learned from Joe Stump, this was it. And that is unbrand yourself when it comes to your listings, uh, your feature sheets. And be, again, uh, Judy, for example, are you gonna pick up my feature sheet that's got my face, my name, everything about me all over it, and then a little bit about the house and give it to your client? Or are you gonna pick up something that's unbranded, right? So. These pages are so robust. Um, this is the actual video of this property. And I make these videos super, super, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Detailed, right? So I'm walking through the house, but I'm doing it like a buyer. I'm doing it like the buyer's agent. And because we have you all on video and um, I'm trying to stream a video, uh, sucking up some of the bandwidth here. So I apologize for that. Um, I don't think it's, here we go. No, we'll let this page load. I'll carry on here. Um, you can load the feature sheet right into this. I don't know why I'm having such a heck of a time loading stuff. So the feature sheets in there. We'll just let this load for a few minutes. I'm not sure what's going on here. It's probably my internet. Um, and again, that is all when somebody clicks the button here for the live stream. Um, I had to show my board how this works as far as live stream goes. 
because again, this button, there we go. Yeah, not in the way, that's fine. So this is the live button and it's not gonna work. I don't know what is going on here, folks. I'm so sorry. Let me see if I can do it on my phone. Michael, are you still in the room? Can you unmute yourself? Here, I'll do it. Hey, buddy, what's going on there? Uh, can you go to my page uh, or to realtor.ca and look up that property and just uh, message me through so I can show people how this is live? Yeah, I think what's happening there, buddy, you can't message yourself in the page. Well, I'm, it's I'm, I'm having a lot of uh, bandwidth problem here, too, for whatever reason. But, yeah, if you could do that and we can show people just how it's working, how it works. How do I get to, you know what's easier? Why don't you just fire that to my cell phone and then I can reply via the cell phone. Oh, the actual, um, the page. Yeah. yeah Cause I don't know where the link is for this uh, listing. I'll have to search it on realtor.ca. Yep. I'll do that. So what I'm doing right now is I'm sharing, uh, this page to Michael. So I'm your imaginary buyer. Yeah. Inquiring about your baseball cap for sale. Share now. Send. Okay, it's on its way, buddy. Um, and I showed you how to do it in your uh, matrix. Um, so this is quick page. So um, we'll build a page, but I'm going to start the page on my phone. And the reason I'm going to show you on my phone is because that's where you're going to be most of the time. So let me screen share here again with my phone. There we go. Okay, so let's build a, a quick page. Oh, I need a bigger monitor, a double monitor or something. Holy smokes, so much open. Okay, so we're in the quick page app. Now you'll notice here at the bottom, new page. So I'm gonna click that. And I'm gonna call this test. Now, I don't want to get too deep into quick page because that can be a whole hour of, uh, of training. And I'd like to leave that up to Michael, but I'm going to add my canned message, which is my normal message for the town that I live in. I'm going to make sure that I change the address though, because this one's not Trillium drive. 530. Elgin in beautiful Port Elgin. So we just did uh, a video a few moments ago, but I'm going to record an intro first. Hey folks, welcome to my test page here uh, about 530 Elgin Street. I'm teaching the likes of all these realtors just how easy it is to do this. Don't forget, when you want to move through this page, down below, you're gonna find those blue little circles. Just click and it's gonna swipe you left or right. Not like Tinder, but like my quick page. Uh, also above, you'll notice uh, up here, um, there is a button for sharing. And I'd really appreciate it if you would share this with someone you know, love and trust that's looking for real estate. Thanks so much, enjoy your day. So I'm gonna use that video and you'll notice it's processing. You see the little green bar going across here. So the other thing I'm gonna do while that's processing is I'm gonna upload the video that we had worked on earlier in, <clears throat> in we video. So you notice choose video right here. So I'm gonna go here, go through all my videos, and I know it's this one right here, the black one, because that was about the length this video was. I'm going to choose it and it's going to compress it. Uh, oh, we just lost my screen. I'm not sure what happened there. Let's try and pull that back up. I think because it's working on the video, is it showing that it's mirrored?
<laughs> anyway, now you'll notice what's here now. See how instant that is? This is on my computer. This is what I was just working on on my phone. So now I can start working on it on my computer at the same time. So I'm going to turn off this screen mirror. Oh yeah, there it's off. So now I can get a little bandwidth back. I'm going to click on this video and I'm going to start editing. So we put in, oh, it didn't put in the other video. My apologies. But remember what I did there earlier? <laughs> is I uploaded that video into my Dropbox for this very reason. Now, every time I get a new listing, I make a folder for it. So these are all my listings, my current listings right now. And I have a folder for each listing. Now, inside that folder, I've made a quick page folder. And I do this so that I can have my admin, when they're working, build my quick pages for me. Uh, it's that simple. So the, the file with quick page has everything that I want in that page. Now you'll notice, so oh, the video didn't upload yet. So yeah, I'm definitely having a, a big problem. So we'll upload that, we'll put in Uh, say the Soggy Shores maps, the bylaw maps. Now, um, Brian Mill, if you're still in here, uh, this is part the part that I was saying you'd be interested in because whether you're a mortgage broker, which Brian is, uh, a lawyer, uh, these are all reasons to use QuickPage. Um, I can share my screen in a QuickPage. And a good example of that is showing somebody how to use AuthentiSign or Dropbox or sorry, uh, DocuSign to fill in uh, their forms. Uh, it's also good um, for other explanations. YouTube, uh, the YouTube link is for when you are doing, um, uploading a, a video to YouTube and you wanna show that video. Or for example, I always put in the Sogging Shores at Summertime video. So I'll click search. I'm not sure what's going on, folks. Oh my God. Uh, probably because this is my first video training. Anyway, this screen right here populates with everything. On, oh, there we go. With everything about Soggy Shores that would be on YouTube. Um, I don't want any COVID crap. I am going to put in something uplifting and nice that people will enjoy. So I check on it. I hit done. And again, you'll notice things are starting to add up here. So we have four pages. Um, I have a website that I want to feature. Um, as long as the website is a legit and locked website. Am I using the right word, Michael? Locked? Oh, he's muted again. Yeah, as long as it's not so secured, I think yeah, HTTP, secure. yes, secure right. website. Right. So for example, I can take uh, the We Videos website. Um, let's take that part because I don't want anybody getting into mine. And I can insert it. And you'll notice eventually it'll populate. There we go, so it's gonna populate. So I'll add that to the page. So now you have a full robust page about your property and the things around Port Elgin. Now, I'll show you the one that I did for Elgin Street. So this one is a current listing that I have. Um, and I did a full feature video. So this video is 16 minutes and 24 seconds long. Let's see, let's see if it's loaded now. I don't know, we're getting a bad wind. Hello there and welcome right now, to so 530 Elgin Street, part of beautiful Port Elgin, Ontario. 
This home is located on the corner of Stafford and Elgin. So this is a voiced over video. Um, windows and, and I'm not I'm not holding back. I'm telling the people if there's a scratch in the floor, if there's a dent in the drywall, here's a crack, a crack that was fixed in the foundation. Here on the foundation. But I'm letting wall. them know it was fixed, right? These remember, you're doing these in the eyes of a buyer now. This is where our real estate has changed. We're no longer just a, a listing agent. We have to show both sides of the coin here. And make sure you explain that to your seller. Make sure you get them to tell you that that's okay. Whether you put it on a form and have them sign it, whether you put it in an email and have them acknowledge it, um, you have to do that. Now, I try and keep them. I, I didn't mean to get that shot of my car in there. I the try and keep these as unbranded feet. as possible. Um, you know, right curled. there, I just told people that the shingles were basically crap on this garage, but it's a cheap fix. Ample right? size detached garage. But you want them to know all this because if they're driving to Port Ogden from, say, I had people from Burlington the other day. I made them watch the video first before they drove up and wasted everyone's time, put anyone at risk, that sort of thing. That's the whole idea. It is a work in progress. See? I mean, I just Water tell them like it is. Are included. It's a work in progress. So it's a, a full functioning. It's got the website, uh, the website, or sorry, the feature sheet, which I've totally unbranded. Um, I've removed the top banner with my face. I've removed my name from here. I've been asked by a few people, does that not contravene RICO? Uh, the brokerage is right here and uh, the e &O, uh statements right here as well. So I'm covered. Uh, the other thing with the video not being branded, it's coming from a branded website, realtor.ca, which has all the information in it. And in, during these times, if RICO doesn't like it, please call me and we'll discuss it, RICO. Um, <clears throat> I have zoning. These are called thumbnails, uh, these pictures back here. Um, I just put in random thumbnails just to spice up the page. You, you don't have to use the thumbnail if you don't want to use a thumbnail. It just keeps it looking good, keeps people active. Um, you know, they tend to keep scrolling even if it's just to see what the next photo is going to be. Again, there's my summer and soggy shores. I put that in all of them. Um, oh, it looks like we have a bad website now on here, so I'll have to find out why. So we have the home inspector that, that we use quite a bit, uh, uh, lawyer that we use quite a bit, and lawyers have been calling me up, hey, can I have my face on your video? I, you know, home inspector, same thing. Um, Brian, of course, is the only, oh, that was your website, Brian, that, uh, bad gateway, hmm. You guys didn't shut down, I hope. <laughs> Brian's uh, a mortgage broker up here with Dominion, Dominion Lending um, Mill Street Mortgages, which happens to be on the corner of Mill Street. And his last name is Mill. How oh, cool. We just found out this morning, Jason, apparently for some reason the, the whole company, our website is down. Oh, okay. All right. So it's not me. It's the website. Okay. Good. Yeah. I mean, not good, but good. Um, I've put on here like bus planners, uh, school bus routes, and the whole bit. So as you can see, you know, it, it shows the schools in Port Elgin. I mean, that's important for people moving up here. So you're, you're, you know, gone are the days where you had to send 15 different attachments in a massively huge email. And now all you can, now all you need to do is send uh, the link. And you're going to ask me, well, how are you sending the link? Well, let me tell you how I'm sending the link. Uh, most people are using Google Chrome. And the nice people at QuickPage have a Chrome add-on that you can put right into Chrome. So if you're on your website or on your, your uh, Chrome uh, browser, you just have to click the queue and it opens up uh, just like that very easily. Now, for whatever reason, that one's missing. So we're going to compose a new message. Get you people over here. And you'll notice at the bottom of Gmail is another queue. So I'm going to send to Michael. And you'll notice his email there, Real Estate Unplugged at Gmail, in case you need to send him a message. 
So now I'm going to send him a quick page. Now I can send it as just uh, add to email a full page or just the first video. I like to send the full page because if they don't have time to look at the video, at least they can read the information. So I've clicked it, add to email, and there you go. It's right in his email and it's a working video. So, you know, it's, it's not a text message. It's not a plain email. It's a video. And the reason I love video is because of the context. People are getting the context of what you're saying in the, in the, the message versus a text message. Some people will take it out of context and it uh, will, could, spiral on you if you know what i mean right because um if you forget a period or if you forget to put a happy face in they might think you're being really stern with them where video shows your personality right so um i've shown you how to add it uh, the website into quick page more info into quick page emailing from chrome i showed you how to do the video in we video and again you can do it in in imovie um, but it's simple. It is so simple to do video now. And uh, I'm going to open up. I'm going to stop the share. Um, if anybody wants to ask me a voice question, uh, unmute yourself because uh, we are at the end here. Um, Albert asked how much. I think we covered that. Is that a smooth? Dana, no, that was a DJI Osmo Mobile. That is the original Osmo. I've had it for about four years now. Um, that'll show you how good this DJ stuff is. I mean, this is four years old. It's been dropped, bumped, banged, um, used as a, a hammer, um, and it just keeps going. Uh, two batteries is all I've ever needed. Uh, hey, buddy, is that we video desktop app too? Yes, uh, we video is a desktop application, um, and it's uh, very, very easy to use. The only thing is when you're using Wii Video on your desktop and you do a full movie on your desktop, save it into Dropbox because the, the, the app and the website don't talk to each other, right? So anything you save on, on the website uh, version will not save into your app and vice versa. The only thing that does is your My Media. If you remember, I showed you at the beginning, you can save those little clips that you're always using in your videos, um, and it works on both. Uh, can you cut the clips down and add music in the background? Absolutely, in Wii Video, you can edit your clips uh, any way you like. You can add text um, to your video as well. And I should probably show you uh, one more thing here. Do you have a good system how to organize the Dropbox? Um, yeah, when I organize my Dropbox, uh, first I organize it by real estate. Then I have my brokerage um, because, and long story short, I've been to more than one brokerage in the last 10 years. So I have that brokerage. Then I break that down into buyer and seller. Once they click, once I click buyer, it has each year. So I started doing this um, with Dropbox in 2016. So it has 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Then I click on buyers for 2020, and each buyer has their own folder. Same with sellers, each seller has their own folder. And then in, I know it's a lot of folders, but it's the best way to keep things organized. When you are naming it, use first name, last name, address in the file because Dropbox is smart. And if you don't, you know, if you just used a name and say it's a buyer from 2015 and you don't remember the name, but you remember the address, you just have to put that in the search and it's going to search all those files and it's going to show you exactly uh, where that, that is. So that's how I organize my Dropbox. Um, so date and name. Sorry. Call you later. Uh, where do you get the background music? Um, if you need special music, there's lots of, I can uh, put that in the recording uh, into the chat. Um, there are lots of royalty free music sites out there. Um, but having said that, we video does come with some. It comes with also, um, uh, thank you, Michael. I appreciate your comment there. Um, 
which plan do you have on Wii Video? I have the one that's costing me about 80 bucks a year, uh, the pro plan, uh, only because it's the one that I use all the time. Again, iMovie is free, folks. So try and keep this as cheap as you can to start. And as you get better and more comfortable, you can add different programs. iMovie is just the same when it comes to editing. Um, you can cut your clips and the whole bit too. Uh, would Google Drive work just as well as Dropbox? Google Drive probably works a little bit better. Um, for a while now, I've been meaning to migrate over to Google, um, Google Drive, only because everything these days seems to be Google, um, as far as your Gmail, um, Google Chrome. Um, so, you know, having it all, it just works, right? It's part of the back end. Um, have you used Google to edit and share? Uh, would you recommend it? I'm not sure what you mean, Albert. Um, if you want to um, maybe take off mute and ask your question, I'm not sure what you mean. I'm not even sure if Albert's still in here. Yeah, he just wrote that a minute ago, so he must be. Um, do you want to unmute yourself? Hey, Jason. hey, how you doing, buddy? I'll put my face on here too. Okay. <laughs> All right. So my question is, I use a lot of Google products, okay? And um, this is something I do on a recreational basis as well. Like if I go out boating, paddle boarding with my friends, yeah. I have these short little clips that I capture with my phone. I use Google Photos to edit it. So yeah. I'll, I'll crop them out, the little clips. I'll merge the clips and then I'll put a little background track to it. Yeah. and post it onto my social media. I find that very, very easy, very straightforward. Yeah. And I was wondering if I could do something similar for real estate as well. Oh, I would, you're, you must be using Android then if you're using Google, right? Your phone's an Android? Yes, I yeah. use a Google phone, yeah. I use a Pixel, right? Google yeah. Pixel, so yeah, everything can, is on Google. Yeah, absolutely, you can edit in Google. Um, I haven't personally, um, but there should be no reason. If it saves it, um, you know, saves it as a, a normal JPEG or an MP4 if it's a, a video, then absolutely. And then you save that to your phone and you can use uh, Wii Video, for example, Videolicious. Um, again, personally, I like Wii Video. It, it has, I've been using it for a number of years now, probably about four years. Uh, never had an issue except right there when it crashed on me. But, um, you know, that's all just part of it. But, uh, you just want it quick and simple. Uh, as Michael would say, good enough is good enough, right? Um, any video is better than no video. And I've always been a strong proponent of video. Um, a lot of my text messages, the way I write, things get taken out of context. You don't see me smiling. Um, so, you know, and, and you can't tell on text that I'm wearing a hat, right? And I don't usually wear hats, but we're almost four weeks into this stay at home thing and this hair is getting pretty long. So I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> um, anybody else have any questions? We're getting close to one o'clock here and I need to wrap up. Um, hope everybody enjoyed it. Um, I will upload the, uh, actually what I'll do, let me put my email in here. Um, so you can either email me um, or send me a text message and I will send you the recording. Uh, I'll put the recording up in the Royal LePage site, uh, the Ontario uh, New Agent site and hacks, and uh, so it'll be there. Um, wanna thank everybody. Again, this was my first one. Uh, it came in a little unorganized, but I'll know better for next time. So thanks very much. Everyone stay safe and uh, take it easy and good luck out there. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Jason. You're welcome. Bye -bye.